Hey everybody, it's Jack here from JDRC Network, and today I'm going to be showing you my uh, uh, Axial SCX10 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon Kit. So, I just finished building this. Um, well, I mostly finished building it uh, today. And what I've done was I've mounted the roll cage onto the body just to see what it looks like. I got the tires, they're not glued. So you can see they just come right off, all of them. But, uh, yeah. So, this is the truck. Uh, it was a very easy build. Everything was well organized, everything like that. Um, you will, you need, to build this truck, you need a couple tools, like a few different size wrenches, I think three different size wrenches. Uh, a Phillips head screwdriver, grease, Loctite, and servo tape. Oh, scissors and an X Acto knife or a razor. As I have over here. Careful if you're using these, try not to cut yourself because they are very sharp. Uh yeah, I've cut myself a few times on my thumb. Uh so it was a very easy build for me. Uh the instructions were very thorough. They didn't mess up on parts or anything. Um I'm gonna take the body off here. I just also just drilled the holes in the body so they're a little tight. I need to open those up a little more. There goes the back. And now. There's one. And here is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take the body off now. As you can see, it's a very nice, clear Lexan body. Uh, it doesn't come pre-cut. I had to cut that myself. I did that with the razor I showed you earlier. Uh, it's really nice, very detailed. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't come with any fenders on or It comes with fenders. They're not pre-attached. I need to still attach them. They're here. They're really nice. They're nice, uh, soft plastic if you're bumping in anything. That way you don't break them or... Uh, chip them or something. They mount on the same way that the Traxxas uh, Summit f uh, fender flares mount on. Uh, I don't know who came up with it first, but whoever did, they got the other people, uh, took a lot off of them. So, taking the body aside, I'm showing you on my floor because my desk is a little messy because of building. This is the truck. I have my Onyx 5000 milliamp 6 cell uh, nickel metal hydride. I'm not using a LiPo because those things aren't waterproof and I'm going to be running this through water maybe. Uh, so these tires are very sticky. I'm going to go from front to back by the way. These tires are very sticky. They're malleable. They're a really nice tread pattern and I like them so far. I haven't gone out running with this thing yet because it's not 100% put together. Uh, so as you can see, the battery is mounted in the front here, because this steers. Uh, yeah, so the battery is mounted in the front. It's supposed to be mounted in the back. That's why this loop is here. It's not focusing very well today. That's why this loop is here, and that's also why there's holes drilled here and here. Uh, it's supposed to be mounted in the back for a little bit better center of gravity. And I really don't agree with that. I think it should be mounted in the front. I'm not a hardcore crawler guy. But from what videos I've seen before, the more weight you have in the front, the better. That way, if you're going up a hill, you're not going to be dragged down by the back. You're going to get a lot of traction on the front tires. So, I have my Tekken FX. You can't see it. I have my Tekken FXR ESC right here. It's upside down. Uh, I have not mounted the wires, I just mounted it up with my servo tape, uh, so you guys could see it. So I also have my Tekken 45 turn motor right here, it's a really nice motor, from what I've heard, I have, like I said before, I haven't used it. So don't ask me questions on like, oh, how does a motor run? I'll get, I'll do a review on this truck later. I'm also running my, uh, Savox servo that I had in a different review before. Uh, I've ran the servo itself in a different car. 
it doesn't have good speed. You don't. This isn't a racing servo, but then again, it is waterproof, so it's not like you're going to be running your race car or race truck or whatever you have through um, what am I, puddles or lakes. I mean, that's just stupid. But if you do that, I'm not going to judge you, so yeah. I thought the servo was kind of a weird mount because it moves up through the chassis. And as you can see here, when I move the uh, front axle up all the way, see the tip of that horn there? It gets caught up on this, so I'm going to try to move the servo back a little bit, and it should give it better suspension travel. Um, I'm going to be doing a video later on on how to, for free, uh, increase your, uh, I don't know what's called. Uh, it's wow I'm feeling real soon but it's when your articulation okay that's the word so I'm gonna do a separate video on how to increase your articulation with this vehicle because right now it has okay articulation I mean I can fit with the battery in the front here I can fit my fist under like that and it all three other tires on the guy and I can lift it up to about the height of a soda can I mean, this doesn't look like very much. Then when I put it down, it's a lot, actually. Uh, but, yeah, I could increase this a little more by doing the thing I told you about the servo earlier. So, yeah. Um, later, I'm also going to be doing a review on the motor and ESC. Probably a separate video at first, like um, a review on the motor and then a review on the ESC. Then I'm going to do a full package video or something. I'm also going to be... Uh, doing a semi build video on this what it's basically going to be is me talking about the car while showing you pics of the parts of like um like an exploded diff what that means is like the parts all laid out then a finished product here and then an exploded axle finished product here exploded uh transmission finished product and I'm not going to actually do a build video but, um, yeah, I'll be doing what I just explained. And then I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of running videos with this truck because I have a feeling it's going to be really fun. Um, just squish in the tire. It's really soft and squishy. I don't know if you could tell where I put that tire. Ah, oh, whatever. But I'm going to take this off. I don't know how well you can tell this, but this is a really squishy tire. It's, like, incredibly soft. It's like uh, Proline's M4 compound or something. It's really soft. You can't really get that on camera, but it's like, wow. <laughs> um, so that's the car. Um, oh, one last thing. Uh, I've been trying to work, like, get my best shock set up. I thought that the 38 oil was the best. Um... And the shocks that come with this are really nice. They're uh, hard anodized aluminum machined. Uh, they have machined uh, pistons inside. Titanium nitride shafts. Aluminum fa fake piggyback shock wet reservoirs. Yeah, it's just all really nice stuff that's on that went into uh, designing this truck. It also has three link suspension in the front, and the two lower links are uh, aluminum. And has four link suspension in the back with the same two lower aluminum shocks. And it has a WB8, I think that stands for wild bore or wide bore or something like that. Uh, drive shafts are constant velocity drive shafts. It's supposed to be a lot better because it's a metal to metal contact instead of metal to plastic because those used to uh, wear out really easily. And I don't have it right now. Yes, I do. Uh, inside the spare parts, which it comes a lot, which it comes with a lot, uh, there are the slider shaft outsides. You have to focus. And the insides. Now, you can't really tell from this angle that well, but the insides, instead of having four, uh, notches on them, it's a, uh, they have, um, six, no, eight. Sorry, I'm really tired right now. It's like 10 o'clock. But they have eight notches on them instead, so it's uh, supposed to be a lot more durable. Because they used to 
uh, twist and a lot of stuff. There were problems, so everybody upgraded them to aluminum. I'm probably not going to this time because they're supposed to be a lot better. Uh, so I, that's my ending thoughts on the truck so far. And I'll be posting more videos soon. Uh, if you like the commentary, like. If you enjoyed the commentary, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.